How do you know if you're ready to start your stack session? In this video, I will describe how to objectively determine your level of preparedness. Now granted, this does require you to have a few stack sessions in under your belt already. Now we know that it's essential to be fully warmed up before you make any swings in any stack session. This will prevent injury, maximize the effectiveness of your workout, as well as ensure that the stack's programming algorithms are functioning as intended. So here's the approach. Before you start your session, I want you to open up the app, go to that main screen with the four tiles, and swipe left, and I want you to note your last set speed with the standard stack weight. For most users, this will be 195 grams. If you're not sure, it will be the weight that you've been asked to swing in every session so far. So you can flip through those sessions to see which weight you've swung in every session. So for me, that's 195 grams, and I can see that my last set speed with 195 grams was 115 miles per hour. Okay, so let's assume that I'm, um, I've done my warm-up and I think I'm ready to start my session. I'm not, so I will be swinging a bit slower than 115 miles per hour. So I'm going to fire up my radar, so I'm going to turn on the PRGR down here. Okay and I want to load on that standard stack weight, 195 grams. So remember, I think I'm ready to go here, and I'm going to make a swing. Okay, and I'm going to try to swing at, at max effort. Okay, and then I'm going to note what that speed was. And what I'm looking to do is kind of take a swing every 10 to 15 seconds until I get to within two to three miles per hour of that noted speed on at least two swings. So for me, I'm looking to swing around 112 miles an hour for a couple of swings. Remember, my, my previous set with the 195, what I have loaded on here right now, was 115. So that last swing we'll say is 112. I'm going to try to take another one. There we go. Another one at 112. So I'm ready to go. Let's say you're way off, say 5 miles per hour slow after several swings then strongly consider repeating some of those movements in the app's warm-up video to try and raise your level of preparedness. If you are sweating and you feel ready to go and are still swinging slow, then I would suggest proceeding with the workout, acknowledging that there are probably other factors such as sleep or your current level of recovery from previous workouts that are at play. Give that a go and happy training.